such a tremendous leader that I got to tell you, she terrifies Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary tosses and turns in her jail cell, <laughs> thinking about her. Tonight was a good night. Tonight, we continued to gain delegates and continue our march to 1,237. And after tonight, America now has a clear choice going forward. Let me say a word about Marco Rubio. Marco is a friend. He's a colleague. He ran a strong, optimistic, positive campaign. His story, the son of a bartender, the son of a maid who fled Cuba seeking freedom, is powerful, it's inspirational. Marco's story, his passion, inspires me. Marco can paint a picture, can weave a tapestry of the promise of America like nobody else. And his presidential campaign inspired millions across the nation. I congratulate Marco and Jeanette on the tremendous campaign they ran together. <laughs> to those who supported Marco, who worked so hard, we welcome you with open arms. with gratitude and with hope and with a positive vision together for our great nation. We welcome you to join us along with remarkable leaders like Carly Fiorina, like Governor Rick Perry, and like all of the Republicans who are uniting behind our campaign, from Mike Lee to Mark Levin to National Review. Starting tomorrow morning, every Republican as a clear choice. Only two campaigns have a plausible path to the nomination, ours and Donald Trump's. Nobody else has any mathematical possibility whatsoever. Only one campaign has beaten Donald Trump over and over and over again. <laughs> Not once, not twice, not three times, but nine times all across the country, from Alaska to Maine. And going forward, the choice is straightforward. Do you want a candidate who shares your values or a candidate who has spent decades opposing your values? The mainstream media, the network suits who make the decisions want Donald Trump as the Republican nominee. That's why they've given him hundreds and millions in free advertising, because they are partisan Democrats ready for Hillary. And they know that Donald may be the one person on the face of the earth that Hillary Clinton can beat in the general election. But the media aren't going to decide this election. The voters will. And here's our vision for America. It's an America with a brighter future. It's an America with greater opportunity for our kids and grandkids. It's an America with more liberty and more safety and more security. It is America that is greater tomorrow than it is today and than it was yesterday. This election will focus on three critical issues, jobs, freedom, and security. As president, my number one priority will be jobs. Turning around the stagnation, the misery of the Obama-Clinton economy. You know, it's easy to talk about making America great again. You can even print that on a baseball cap. But the critical question is whether you understand the principles and values that made America great in the first place. The
The heart of our economy isn't in Washington, D.C. The heart of our economy is small businesses all across the United States of America. If I am elected president, we will repeal every word of Obamacare. We will pass a simple flat tax and abolish the IRS. We will rein in the EPA and the government regulators that are killing small businesses. and will stop amnesty, secure the borders, end sanctuary cities, and end welfare benefits for those here illegally. And the result will be millions upon millions of high-paying jobs, will be wages rising for people all across America, will be young people coming out of school with two, three, four, five job opportunities. Far too many politicians focused on Washington, D.C. To the lobbyists, to those like Donald Trump who buy influence, and to those like Hillary Clinton who sell influence, Washington is the center of the universe. But we understand that isn't right. Together, we will make Washington less relevant in all of our lives. will fire government regulators and repeal job-killing regulations. And together, we will take the boot of the federal government off the backs of the necks of small businesses all across this country. It's not about the cronyism and the bailouts that far too many Republicans and Democrats have done over and over again to benefit the rich and powerful. Instead, less government is more freedom. Yeah. Higher wages and a better standard of life for all of us. The second critical issue in this election is freedom. Two debates ago, Donald Trump promised all of us that he would compromise with Harry Reid and Chuck Schumer on replacing Antonin and Scalia to the United States Supreme Court. Our rights hang in the balance, and let me be very, very clear to the people of America, I will not compromise away your religious liberty. And I will not compromise away your Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. And every justice I appoint to the court will be faithful to the law and will ferociously protect the Bill of Rights for your children and for mine. The third critical issue in this election is security. For seven years, we've abandoned our friends and allies, and we've shown weakness and appeasement to our enemies. Two debates ago, Donald Trump promised as president to be neutral between Israel and the Palestinians. Well, let me be clear. As president, I will not be neutral. America will stand unapologetically with the nation of Israel. And anyone who cannot tell the difference between our friends and our enemies, who cannot tell the difference between Israel and Islamic terrorists who seek to murder us, 
that raises real questions about their fitness and judgment to be commander in chief. Donald Trump says he will keep in place this Iranian nuclear deal and try to renegotiate it. I will rip to shreds this Iranian nuclear deal on the very first day in office. Over seven years, President Obama has weakened and undermined the military. We've seen this before with another weak Democratic president, Jimmy Carter, who did the same thing. And in January 1981, Ronald Reagan came into office. And what did Reagan do? He cut taxes, he lifted regulations, he pulled government off the backs of the necks of small businesses. We saw millions of high-paying jobs. It generated trillions in new government revenue, and he used that money to rebuild the military, to bankrupt the Soviet Union, and to win the Cold War. I intend to do the exact same thing with radical Islamic terrorism. We are going to repeal Obamacare. We are going to pass a flat tax, lift the regulations, stop amnesty, and we will see millions upon millions of high-paying jobs, trillions in new government revenue, and we will use that revenue to rebuild this military so that it remains the mightiest fighting force on the face of the planet. Tomorrow we have a choice, a clear and simple choice. Enough with the Washington corruption. Enough with the deception, with using government to benefit the rich and powerful at the expense of hardworking taxpayers. Together, we can turn things around. If we stand together, if we remember the common sense free market principles that built America, the constitutional liberties that built America, once again standing together, we can have mourning in America. Now is the time for Republicans to unite, for independents to unite, for libertarians to unite, for all of us who want a brighter future for our nation to come together and stand as one. Starting tomorrow morning, there is a clear choice, a clear and direct choice. And for everyone who wants to see a brighter tomorrow, we welcome you to our teams. We welcome you with open and welcoming arms. Thank you, and God bless you.